must finish this. a dead soldier and no sign of our supplies.
for another ghost. I've had my fill of ghosts. Mainly one ghost, honestly. A distant ancestor. Every time I try to sleep, he's in my dreams. I've barely had an hour's rest since I came to Dusk Town. It's going to kill me if it doesn't drive me mad first. He's been calling me here, I think. To put him to rest, I think. He's being tormented as much as he's tormenting me. I came to this terrible place to find his remains. But the tomb robbers have angered the dead, and I'm terrified to step foot into the barrow alone. My damned ancestor is the traitor, Jarl. Hagridden. He was buried alive in the Midnight Barrow long before I was born. Unfortunately, he has no tomb. And what's left of him has been scattered around by these Draugrkin thieves. My family only speaks his name to curse it. I'm told he betrayed his hold, so he was cast into the Midnight Barrow with other exiles and traitors, far out of reach of Sovngarde. I can't say whether he deserved that. I know he suffered for it. Call it a feeling. What I've seen in my dreams are a jumble of incoherent events and feelings. There's little that I remember that makes any sense. But when I wake, there's a pall that hangs over me, like I've been wronged somehow. This place, I think. I've only seen glimpses of it in my dreams. It used to be a place where terrible criminals were exiled to be forgotten, until it met the same fate. Faded into myth, just like Blackreach. Ghouls picking the bones of the dead, necromancers and the like. They seem to be the ones who found this old lost barrow. I don't know what they came here for, but they've disturbed Jarl Hagridden, and gods know what else. You and Fen stay put until we clear a path to the Undergrowth. Fine. Just don't take all day. This is it. Look lively and let's get on with it. I saw my ancestors' remains in my dreams, but I only know roughly where they are. Careful of the Draugrkin. They'd sooner make a corpse of you than talk.
You thought no one would find out. But none of us would survive. One is enough to expose your treason. I gave no such order. I have your betrayal pinned in your hand and stained oh, in our blood. Hand. Sending his soldiers into a trap? Don't you love me, Hagadin? Do you want to see me grow old, wither, and die? There's a small sacrifice for eternity. Listen to yourself, Lucy. Even one life is too many. I can't make that kind of sacrifice. Not even for you. Sacrifice? Just what was that woman asking for? That's the wrong way. If you have something else more important to do, fine. I'll just wait here. against your hold and your people. We cast you from the halls of your ancestors. May they never know your name. I did not betray my hold. She's the one who should face your judgment. Seal him in. Oh, gods. I can feel his terror. It's suffocating.
Jarl Hagridin has a matter of urgency for you to attend to. What does he know to send us this far into the Reach? You have your orders, Thane. I trust you know enough to carry them out. That's everything. Let's get out of here with Hagridin's remains before we join these tortured souls. I'm still alive. That place will haunt my nightmares long after my damned ancestor's ghost gives me rest. May I have him, please? I can't help but pity Hadridin, despite what he's put me through. I felt his torment. An eternity in the Midnight Barrow seems cruel, even for a traitor. From what I saw, it seems like he was the one who was betrayed. Was he really innocent? That was my feeling, but I didn't know if it was Hagridin affecting me. I wonder what became of the woman who betrayed him. Did she get what she desired from those people's sacrifice? I'll take them to a temple for consecration, and see that he gets a proper burial. It won't be a Jarl's funeral, but hopefully it'll allow him to reach Salvengard. Then I can finally get some rest. You've spared us both. Thank you.
The princess insisted. We followed at a safe distance and only advanced after the future. From this point on, we stay together. And that's an order. Um, yes. What she said. Attack. Now, let's enter the underground. We need to find where they're experimenting with the Harrow Storms. Honor me with your presence, my king. Grey host, stay quiet and listen. This hero storm must be the biggest we have ever wrought, my sister in arms. That's the leader of the Grey host. Have we heard from Solitude? Is everything in place? I have been assured the city is ripe for harvest. Rada al Saran and Axark Ulfra. Should we postpone the test? Certainly not. The Holds are counting on us. Besides, we might be able to end this threat right here and now. Murderers who killed our beloved Singalis. And you're about to join him. Impudent mortal! You will pay for your crime. <laughs> now for the rest of these curves. My king, allow me the honor of spilling the blood. Very well, sweet son. Join me in Greymoor Keep with the task is done. Let this harrow storm play the from your bones! We need to leave them. Svana, no! See to live, Svana. And pray your elixir works. Protect Svana. Ah! 
She needs time for the elixir to do its job. in a hero storm and nothing happened. Fen's elixir is a success. And we took out another one of the Grey Host leaders. We've done good, my friend. Never better. We need to create as much of the elixir as possible and distribute it throughout Solitude before Radha Al Saran's massive hero storm hits. I also want to find out who in the city is helping him. Let's meet back at the Blue Palace. Once my father understands that we have a way to protect against the hero storms, he'll have to take us seriously. Let's get back to the city as fast as we can. I know, right? It happened so quickly. When we confronted Radha Al Saran and Exarch Ulfra, the vampire lord blasted Lyris with his magic. When I saw her fall, I knew I had to act. It certainly gave us a fighting chance. When she called forth the hero storm, I grabbed the elixir from Lyris and barely thought about what I was doing. I just drank it down and walked into the storm. I don't disagree, but somebody had to do it. There wasn't any other option. And I'd do it again. My people are counting on me. Tell me, do I have a new scar? <laughs> Enough with the coddling. Let's get back to the Blue Palace.
Listen to your daughter, Svagrin. We need to do something. Don't test me, Gretan. I know exactly what I need to do. Our enemies circle ever closer, and now even my daughter turns against me. What's next? Will my beloved wife return to accuse me of some heinous crime? Well, get to it. Tell me about Svana's miraculous elixir before I have the lot of you tossed out. You represent my most hated enemy and expect me to believe a word you say? Even if you speak true, worms have found purchase in the wood and seek to rot my kingdom from within. I will not let solitude and the Western Holds fall. Trust Svana. Perhaps. No. No! Your honeyed words are but echoes of my most obstinate foes. You offer a miracle with one hand while holding a poison dagger in the other. I want you to go outside here and help. I want you to help. I need no help from the likes of you. Don't be a fool, Father. This elixir will save our people. I didn't think you had it in you, daughter. You have actually surpassed my expectations, more's the pity. And I'll hear no more talk of this miracle elixir. The Grey Host is my true ally. Once the Harrow Storm engulfs solitude, my kingdom will endure for all eternity. I should have sensed it. Svargrim's a vampire. Svana. Not now, Beerus. I... I need to think about this. Svargrim's a bastard, but King Yorin believed he had the best interest of his people at heart. Obviously, something changed. And with Solitude targeted for a massive hero storm, things have gotten more complicated. Not everything is as grim as it appears. We did create an elixir. That's our best chance of protecting the people from the Harrowstorm. We just need to distribute it. In the meantime, take this. It may not seem like much, but you earned it. Father, how could you? My father, working with the Grey Host. How long has he been a part of this? Did he have a hand in Mother's death? And what has he told them? It's almost too much to bear. And then there's the Harrowstorm. 
My friend, I don't know what to do. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... He's my father. No. I have to focus. There's a Herostorm coming. We have to save the city. That's what's important right now. I'm... I'm not sure we can. But we can make more of Fen's elixir. Get it into the hands of the people. We need more of Arke's sacred oil, though. We'll have to take it from the supply stockpiled at the Temple of the Divines. They've taken it! By the gods, it's fallen! Fallen? What are you talking about? The Grey Host. They came out of nowhere, captured the temple and the Tower of the Wolf. We're locked out! Then the sacred oil. Damn it all! I need to get down there! Follow him! Now, soldier, tell me exactly what happened. <laughs> 